Based on what you guys have been telling me with a recent surge of views on this particular video, I decided to postpone another video that was related to version 38 and address this stuck at Oculus meta infinite logo situation that many of us are encountering. But before I do that, I want to thank you for getting the channel to 230 subs. With that being said, enough of the preamble, let's get to the video. As you know, I've experienced the same issue, but not as severe as some of you have been experiencing. People have been sharing their experiences across different videos that I've posted. This just needs to be addressed, otherwise a lot of you are not going to be able to use your headset. And if you're not familiar with the channel, the format of the video I go through the background, the root cause, the items you need, and the solution. And as of scripting this video, where we are transitioning from V37 to version 38 for the Quest 2. It's safe to say that many of the issues, including getting stuck at the logo, has been from updates. The recent version 38 update is no different, even though it does bring some enhancements to the headset. All you'll need are your headset and either a computer or your phone. Easy enough, right? Now there are three major solutions presented in this video I will go through in just a moment. I do want to point out these are based on conversations I've had with people in the comments section of videos I've posted and info I gathered from investigating the stuck at logo issue. These were the most effective solutions. Any links that you'll need will be in the description below. If you've seen my previous video on this topic, you know that the solution is simply waiting for the headset to boot to the main menu. That video I posted previously happened in real time. Several of you have brought up that you've been stuck at the logo some as long as two weeks. At that point, I believe if you get to somewhere in the two to three hour range, it might make sense to contact Oculus Meta. More than likely, the solutions are going to be the same that are on this video. The good thing is, if you do contact them, you might actually get a replacement headset. It's good that you have the potential to get your headset replaced, but, or it's good that you have the potential to get a headset replaced, but bad that it had to actually come to that. The last solution is going to be no surprise to many of you, but factory resetting your headset by pressing and holding the power button and minus volume rocker is going to have a high percentage of resolving this issue amongst other issues you could be having if you're experiencing them. With cloud saves being supported by many titles now, it's a little less scary than it was before cloud saves weren't available. There you go guys. If you like the info that was provided on this video, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And you can always keep this channel in your back pocket just in case you need the help. I want to give a special shout out to Nexus, Noah Nunez, and Flash Game Time for sharing their experiences and their solutions. Thanks for watching, peace, love, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.